And a six car pileup shuts down I-10 for a few hours. A major accident happening today when the roads were slick, the rain causing some dangerous driving conditions across the city. I want to go live now to Ken's Spies, Vanessa Croy. She's near where that accident happened. And Vanessa, what does it look like in that area now? Well, Audrey, uh, the, right now the freeway has just opened back up within the last hour. You can see the cars moving behind me, but that wasn't the case uh, for many hours this afternoon as crews worked to clear that accident. In fact, you can still see the impact of where those cars crashed on the concrete barrier on the left lane on I-10 eastbound going towards downtown today. Now, uh, we're still waiting to hear back from San Antonio police for investigators to say what exactly caused that six-pile car pileup today. However, we do know, thankfully, that no one was seriously injured. Now take a look at the video that we shot at the scene of the accident today. Crews were out there untangling piles of mangled metal after that accident happening today around noon. I-10 eastbound from Woodlawn to Culebra was closed as crews cleared the scene. San Antonio police say at least six cars were involved, including a white pickup truck and a semi truck. Accident investigators are now tasked with finding out what happened and if wet road conditions are to blame. Transtar cameras caught another accident at the 1604 I-10 interchange near UTSA Boulevard. An overturned 18 wheeler stopped traffic for about an hour until crews could clear that scene. No word yet on what caused that accident or if anyone was hurt. This morning, the constant shower is creating minor flooding on roadways across the city. Plus, slick conditions and little visibility made a difficult commute for many of us this morning. But back out here live on the scene, you can see traffic moving again. The rain has stopped. And like Bill said, the sun is out. Turned out to be a beautiful fall day, finally. But when you step outside this afternoon to head home, expect some windy weather and cooler temperatures as fall is finally here. Reporting live northwest of downtown, uh, Vanessa Croy, Kins 5.